Hey there, Sam. So in the previous video, we talked about this OS box called the service container attached to our app. And just a quick recap, here's our app, and there's a container attached to our app instance. And as we develop our app, we're going to have a lot of different classes that do different things. And Laravel call these classes services. However, by default, these services are just hanging around without connecting to our app instance. So to put these services into the container, there are two ways. Either we call the bind method directly from our app instance, or we use the service provider. Let's explore on how we can use a service provider. In simple terms, service provider is just a class that tells Laravel on how to instantiate a service. For example, suppose we have a service called geolocation, and the purpose of this service is to retrieve geolocation data of a certain location. But for this geolocation service to work, it might be dependent on other classes to work. For example, a map class to approximate the location, and also a satellite class to pinpoint the exact location. So since geolocation is dependent on map and satellite, at the time when we want to instantiate a geolocation service, we might want to create a new instance for each map and satellite and load them into the constructor of geolocation. So our geolocation constructor will look something like this. But here's the issue. Every time we want to create a new geolocation instance, we will have to create a new map instance and satellite instance beforehand. So we can pass them along to geolocation, and that makes things a little bit tedious. And this is exactly where service provider comes into the rescue. And again, service provider is just a class that helps us to instantiate services. In other words, once we set up a service provider for geolocation, the map instance and satellite instance will be automatically loaded or injected into geolocation. In programming terms, if a class instance is loaded into another class instance, it is known as dependency injection. So the keywords here are depend and inject. Geolocation is dependent on map and satellite, and we're injecting them into the constructor of geolocation. That's enough talking, let's dive into the code. First thing first, let's create our services. We'll create a new folder in our app directory called services. And this is where we'll put in our geolocation, map, and satellite services. Let's create a folder for each of them and their corresponding service class. Once we're done, let's go to geolocation and we'll implement the constructor. The constructor of geolocation will take in an instance of map and satellite and make them into private properties. Now let's also create a dummy method just for testing. I'll call it search and it accepts a string argument, which is the location name that the user wants to search. While we are on here, let's create some dummy methods in satellite and map as well. So in the map class, I'll create a new method called findAddress that takes in a string address. And the function will do its magic and return an array of information about the location. Next, let's go to our satellite class and we'll create a dummy method called pinpoint that accepts an argument info, which is the array returned by our map class. And this function will return a geo coordinate, which is the latitude and longitude of a location. I'll just hard code the values for this demo. And now back to our geo location class, we'll make use of those two methods that we just created. So in a search method, we will pass the name argument into the find address method inside our map class. Once we got the location info, we can easily get the coordinates by calling the pinpoint method from our satellite class instance. And the result of this search function should be the geo coordinates of a location. So we can just return the result of our pinpoint method in this function. And now our class implementation are completed. It is time to create a service provider for our geolocation class. The easiest way to create a service provider is to use PHP Artisan command. So let's go to our terminal and type in PHP Artisan make provider, followed by our service provider name. I'll call it geolocation service provider. Once that's completed, and if we navigate to the provider folder inside our app directory, you'll see our geolocation service provider file created in there. Now let's take a look at the structure of a service provider. There are only two methods in it, a register method and a boot method. The register method is where we tell Laravel on how we want to instantiate our class. This is also the place where we load all the configurations that is needed by our class. And here's the place where we bind our class into the service container. Let's try to bind our geolocation service into the container. To do that, we need the app instance. Thankfully, the app instance is one of the properties of the base service provider class. So we can just call this app and we can call either the bind method or the singleton method. I'm going to go ahead with the bind method because we don't need a singleton in our case here. 
The first argument in the bind method is the service name. You can put anything you want as a service name, but the best practice is always to use the class name. So I'll pass in the full qualified class name of the geolocation class. And the second argument is where we tell Laravel on how do we create this service. We should pass in a callback function that returns an instance of the geolocation class. And the callback function accepts the app argument just in case we need to access the app instance. And now inside the callback function, let's create our geolocation service. We'll first create a new instance of the map class and also the satellite class. Once we have created them, we'll simply return a new geolocation instance and pass in the map and satellite instances. And now the next step is to register our service provider. We go to config and app.php and put our geolocation service provider inside the provider array. And that's it. We have just registered our geolocation service inside the service container. Let's try it out. We're going to go to our terminal and run PHP Artisan Tinker. Tinker is an easy to use PHP shell environment provided by Laravel. It's great for development purpose like now, and we'll be using it a lot of time in the future as well. Anyway, let's test if our geolocation service can be resolved correctly. To resolve a service out from the container, there are two ways to do it. One is to call the global app helper function and pass in the container name, which in our case here is the class name of our geolocation class. Hit enter, and it works. We have now resolved our geolocation service out from the container. The second way is to call the make method from an app instance. To do that, again, we can call the app helper function, and by default, the app function will return us the current app instance. And from that, we can call the make method and pass in the container name again. And this resolves our geolocation service once again from the container. All right, once we got our service instance, let's try to call our search method. And if everything works correctly, we should see our dummy array value return from the function. Hit enter. Whoops, I made a mistake here. Let's try again. And it works. Can you see how easy it is to instantiate any service by using the service provider? We no longer need to worry about the arguments inside a class constructor if we're using a service provider to instantiate a class. And that is a very powerful feature provided by Laravel to us. Okay, let me show you one more thing before we move on. Whatever we return in a callback function is whatever we resolve from the container. So if we return a dummy string inside a callback function of the bind method, the next time when we resolve our geolocation service, we just get a string called AAAAA. Let's go back to our terminal, run PHP Addison Tinker again, and we'll try to resolve our geolocation service one more time. But this time it returns the dummy string. And this is what I meant by whatever we bind to the container is whatever we resolve later on. Okay, now let's move on. Let's talk about the boot method in the service provider. The boot method is called after every single service provider in our app is registered. You can put anything you want in there, but it is generally for things like event listener or function calls that requires the other services in our app. So just as an example, if the satellite happens to be malfunction, we might want to send an email to notify the admin using a mailing service in our app. And the boot method is exactly the location on where we can put this kind of logic in. The usage of the boot method is pretty advanced, and most of the time you don't even need to touch it. So you don't have to worry about it that much. And now, here's one more thing I want to talk about before we end the lesson. If we don't put our service provider inside the app config file, by default, Laravel will try to automatically resolve the service for you. That means Laravel will try to do what we did inside the register method on its own. So it will look inside the geolocation service and figure out what dependencies required and inject them accordingly. So if we go back to Tinker, restart the app and try to resolve geolocation again from the container, it will still work. And this feature of Laravel is known as automatic dependency resolution. However, it only works when the service constructor has arguments based on other classes. If we've got arguments that's a string, a number, or other data type, then the auto resolution will not work. Let's try it quickly. If I add a new string argument to the job location service and go back to our terminal, restart Tinker, and resolve the service again, and now we see an error because Laravel can't figure out what to put in as a string argument. To solve this issue, we need to manually define our service provider and put it inside the app config file, just like what we did before. And that's a brief overview on service provider in Laravel. Key takeaway for this lesson, service providers are classes that instruct Laravel on how to instantiate a service or class. The register method is where we define our class binding, and the boot method is called after all services are registered. We need to put our service provider in a provider array in the app config to activate our service provider. 
Otherwise, Laravel will just automatically resolve the service on its own using the automatic resolution feature. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.